Yo, what up, guys? It's your boy Fitzmon TV here, aka Julon33. I'm back with another NBA talk video here today. Today we are reviewing um, Game One of the 2016 NBA Finals: Golden State Warriors versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. Are you guys know? I hope my tune doesn't affect you guys too much. Good chips. You miss Vicky. Bomb. Back to the point though. This is a rematch of last year's NBA Finals where we had the Cavs and the Warriors. Game one was in Golden State last year. Fitting. Game one was in Golden State again this year. A lot of people said the reason why the Cavaliers um, didn't win um, this series was because um, was because um, they clearly didn't have um, Cavaliers didn't have Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love available for the finals last year because they both went down um, with injuries during the postseason. So let's see if they will prove them wrong. Game one, that they clearly lost. They lost game one. Today they lost 104 um, to 89. They got beat pretty much. They were pretty much outmatched the whole game. The fact is, it wasn't Steph Curry or Clay Thompson um, doing the work. It was Steph Curry, Clay Thompson. They combined for 20, only 20 points tonight. Not even individually, combined only for 20 points. So 84 the. 84, 84 of those 104, 84 of those 104 points were from the Warriors, other Warriors starters in the bench. So only 20 from Clay. I expect, don't worry, I expect Curry and Clay. They may be a little bit tired from um, the heavy lifting they had to do in the Thunder series, but they'll be fine. Um, especially if they're winning games by double digits without having, um, without either of them getting the 20 points. That's really good. And remember, it was the um, LeBron scored 23, Kevin Love scored 17, just Thomas had 10, Kyrie Irving had close to, I think like at 25, I believe. So the Cavs, their, their players played pretty, they didn't play, I wouldn't say well, but for the most part, um, their big three did show up. Um, Against almost any other team, that's usually a dub for the Cavs. It's against the Warriors, so you really and this is the final, so you really have to step up your game. So the, so the uh, Warriors were led by Sean Livingston with 20 points. To say that the Warriors' um, biggest um, what's the word I'm looking for? The the leader in points for this game was Sean Livingston with 20 points. It's not. It's, I'm not. It's not uh, that Sean. It's not the surprise or anything that Sean Livingston was a score, the leading scorer. It was the fact that the leading scorer for the Warriors was only only scored 20 points. And you look at the stats, see, everybody got involved. Curry got involved. Of course, has the MVP. Clay, Draymond, Draymond Green had like 60 points. I'm sorry, these chips are like stuck in the back of my throat, affecting my pronunciation. So Curry got involved, Clay got involved, even though they those two did have their a uh, superstar game. Well, um, they did do what they were supposed to do. Now uh, Draymond Green had 16, Sean Livingston had 20. Matthew Del Dova and Andre Dollar got into a little bit of a fight because Del Dova touched uh, Andre Dollar's balls. It seems like the same thing we saw with Delhi last year. Delhi um last year was every way of the Warriors could stand the guy for his scrappy defense. It seems like he hasn't changed one bit. I am not a Delhi fan. I can't stand him. He's, I think he's one of the most annoying pests in the league. And I just hope he doesn't bring. It's, I hope what he did in game one isn't a reap aside that this is going to be a repeat of last year's finals. Well, overall, what I take from this game, the Cavs, big three, most part they showed up, but they have to have monster games. LeBron and Kyrie, they both are going to have to have close to 30, if not more. Um, Love's gonna have to have more than 20 um, each game. And then those supporting guys like Jared Smith, he's gonna have to get more than 10. Tristan Thompson's gonna have to get more than 10. Um, I'm surprised. I don't know why the Caps aren't playing Mo Williams, but you know, I'm not on the team, so I wouldn't know. 
So that's about and for the Warriors side, um, it, the, what it, what it's about is I remember when Kerr like broke his um clipboard during the game. For Warriors, really they just gotta continue playing ball. Expect I'm not gonna really say anything about Kerr and um, Thompson because I already said they're gonna show him next game. Don't expect them to. That there's no way in hell they're gonna combine for 20. They'll be probably high up in the 40s or 50s, maybe even 60s probably next game. <laughs> Um, that's about what I got for today. You know, not a lot. I picked the Warriors to win this series in six or seven games. And so I was surprised that they won game one. Shouldn't be surprised to be anybody, really. Unless the Cavs feeling that, you know. Well, but that was discussed can be safe for another day. So that's about what I got for you guys today. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. I'll be back in the next video. Peace.